we can start. So <coughs> open up to your first page of your bulletin. And um, Sarah, can I ask you that when we get to the readings, will you read the, the Luke? Even though... Okay. So here we go. Blessed be God of all creation. And blessed, blessed be God's holy name forever. forever. Bless your creator, all animals of the land. Praise, Praise and exalt our creator forever. Bless your creator, all birds of the air. Praise, Praise and exalt our creator forever. Bless your creator, all creatures of the sea. Praise and exalt our creator forever. Praise and exalt our... Bless your creator, all children of God. With all of creation, creation name. God be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Most high, omnipotent, good Lord, grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world, that following the way of blessed Francis, we may for love of you delight in your whole creation with perfect joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Luke. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouses or barn, yet God feeds them. <coughs> oh, how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you be worrying at a single hour to your life span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like any one of these. But if God so closes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow, is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink. And do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure for you to give you the kingdom. Here ends the reading. We'll read Psalm 104, verses 10 through 25. And as you see here, it's going to be responsively by the half verse. You, Lord God, send the springs into the valleys. All the beasts of the field drink their fill from them. Beside them, the birds of the air make their nests. And sing among the branches. You water the mountains from your dwelling on high. The earth is fully satisfied by the fruit of your works. You make grass grow for flocks and herds. And plants to serve mankind. That they may bring forth food from the earth. And wine to gladden our hearts. Oil to make a cheerful countenance. And bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap and the cedars of Lebanon, which God planted, in which the birds build their nests, and in whose tops the stork makes a dwelling. The high hills are a refuge for the mountain goats, and the stony cliffs for the rock badgers. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time of its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar after their prey, and, and seek, seek their, their food from God. The sun rises and they slip away. And, and lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work. And, and to their, their labor, labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In, in wisdom, wisdom you have made, made them all. The, the earth, earth is full of your creatures.
So right now I invite you to call out the names of those animals whom for, for whom we care and call out the names of those animals we've loved and who are no longer with us. Nemo, Sadie, Bailey, Fluffy. Elvis and then uh, Tanner and JJ. Pita, Kiri, Laika, Bruce, Jack, Jet, and Kim. And in his absence today, Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> Holy God, creator of heaven and earth. Have mercy on us. Holy and mighty redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. Holy Immortal One, Sanctifier of the Faithful, have, have mercy upon us. Grant that all your creatures may serve you with thanksgiving. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Grant favorable weather, temperate rain, and fruitful seasons, providing food and drink for all your creatures. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Open our eyes to the wonder of creation, that we may see you in all your works. Stir in us the desire to care for your creation. Make us wise and faithful stewards of creation, caring for the earth, the waters, the air, and all that live therein. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Forgive us who waste and pollute your creation and strengthen us to restore what we have disregarded. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Look with compassion that there are abused and mistreated, those that are abused and mistreated, show us their dignity in your creation. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Remember those creatures that have died, yet remain dear to us, that they may rejoice in your new creation. Pour out your blessing on earth, O God. Holy immortal one, no sparrow falls without your knowing it. Nothing dies but is remembered by you. Nothing comes into being that you do not see. Give us courage and resolve to build up the common good, holding fast to the hope of a new creation in which all shall dwell eternally. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Amen. God's animals inhab inhabit the skies, the land, and the sea. We share the earth with them and like them rely on God's blessing to sustain and preserve us. We gather today in communion and friendship with Francis of Assisi, who preached to animals and moved throughout the known world sharing God's unconditional love for all beings. Remembering Francis's love for all God's creatures, bring forward the animals entrusted to your care that we may bless them. Or better yet, I'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. Nice. 
Elvis. Okay, here we go. Elvis. Yeah, look at this. Here we go. May God who created you bless, defend, and heal you and keep you this day and always. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's a drink. <laughs> I know. Water, water, water. Who's this? Yeah. Pepper. Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Pepper. <coughs> May God who created you bless you, defend you, heal, and keep you this day and always. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before I do this last prayer, I just wanted to quickly give a little shout out to the vestry for this soul. It's uh, one of the ones that was gifted to me by the congregation. Um, and I chose it today just because it's made from sacks of coffee beans. And I felt like, hey, you know, this is a celebration of St. Francis and creation. And this is a natural product. So let's wear that stuff. That's very cool. Yeah. It's green too. And it's green. It's got green, green words and great words, too, at that. Okay. A prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Did anybody have anything that they brought for the Humane Society? No, I didn't. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I do. If you think about it, I'm here on Wednesday. You can drop off. Uh, I mean, I'd really drop off the adult dog food. I think that would be the best and easiest thing to pick up at the store. So, all right, okay. I'll go get the dog food for you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you all, and thank you. 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 Thank you.